coming to you from deep inside the bowels of a great big empty. Get ready for another episode of The Home Defense Show with Skip Coriel. This is Phoenix Coriel. Welcome to the Home Defense Show. Hey folks, welcome to the Home Defense Show. This is your host, Skip Coriel. Hey, uh, things are going well. You can hear the rooster in the background. He's doing well too. We are just doing a lot of uh, home canning. Uh, last night I did pickled beets and pickled eggs, pickled boiled eggs. Most people, most people don't even know you can do that, but you can. Getting ready to do potatoes here. We've been doing kale all, all summer almost. But uh, yeah, it's going really good here. Classes are going well. I uh, was over at Center Shot Indoor Gun Range last week doing a class. Centershotgunrange.com um, Where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. They have new shirts, so I had to pick one up. All right, folks. I want to talk about people that don't carry their gun. They'll come to class. They won't carry their gun. Um, it's like, I'm not even sure why they get their permit. Uh, it's like a, an emotional whoopee for them. Uh, they use it as a teddy bear. It makes them feel warm and fuzzy and feel good. It makes them feel safer than they really are. Uh, I just want to read this one to you. Uh, this is an article uh, by Cam Edwards, um, and it's titled, Naked Man Shot Killed After Assaulting Woman on Riding Lawnmower. Now, there's something you don't see every day. I've covered thousands of armed citizen stories over the years, and to be honest, I've forgotten the details of the vast majority of them. There are a few that have stuck with me over the years. However, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of them. According to a news release from the Big, from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, the call came in at around 5 p.m. about a person assaulting a woman in the 3700 block of Trophy Place. While they were headed to the scene, deputies were told that the suspect had been shot by the victim's husband. When they made it to the home, deputies found a 25-year-old man in the front yard of the home, naked and with gunshot wounds to the chest. That's a vivid image, isn't it? According to authorities, a 66-year-old woman was on her riding lawnmower taking care of the front lawn when the 25-year-old suspect, who was already naked, threw himself at her and tackled her. <laughs> threw himself. You know, you've heard that phrase, throwing yourself on a, on a woman. <laughs> naked on a lawnmower. Oh, gosh and tackled her to the ground. The woman's 67-year-old husband saw what was happening and tried to pull the man off his wife, but he too was attacked. The husband ran and grabbed a handgun before running back to defend his wife, who was still being assaulted. The woman was taken to a local hospital for her injuries while the husband suffered only minor injuries in the attack. <sighs> wow. All right, you know, there's more, but... I think I can say what I need to say. I want to do more of this kind of stuff because people just aren't getting it. You've got to have your gun on you all the time. You just do. There are all these these myths, these fallacies about, about guns and, and self-defense. You know, people uh, have this idea that Crime only happens in the big cities. That's just not true. Here, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the hill. I'm out looking at the gun range here. I got the chickens behind me. But hey, I got my gun. It's, it's right here. If I need it, it's there. Most crime does happen in the big cities. Because that's where most of the people are. But I'm here to tell you, folks, there are crazy people that live in the country, too. There's mentally ill people. This scenario was out in the country. And you got a naked man running through the woods, tackling a woman on a riding lawnmower. So, 
you can't just say, well, I live in a safe neighborhood, so I'm going to be okay. I don't need a gun because there's hardly ever any violent crime in my neighborhood. Well, how often does it have to happen before you start carrying a gun? Once, twice, three times? How many times do you have to be tackled by a naked man while you're riding your lawnmower before you say, you know, maybe I should protect myself. Maybe the neighborhood isn't as safe as I thought it was. You know, according to the article here, you know, they, they both, the man and the woman, they now carry <laughs> all the time. A little, bit of, a little bit short there, but, you know, if you don't have the gun on you, readily accessible, you can't defend your wife who's being sexually abused by a 25-year-old naked man. Okay, you can't do it because what did he have to do? He had, you know, he went out there, he fought physically with the 25 year old man. He was overpowered because he's 67 years old. So he had to leave his wife in the clutches of a 25 year old deranged man, uh, you know, letting her be assaulted while he ran back inside to get his gun. I guarantee you right now he wishes that he had the gun on him all already because you do not want to leave the whip, the people that you love for a minute while you run back inside, open up the gun safe, get the gun and then come back out again. That was his biggest mistake. You, you can't do that, folks. Okay. He, he was fortunate that the guy let him go back in to get the gun because it maybe it, it didn't have to happen that way didn't have to happen that way at all and people have another fallacy only beautiful young women get sexually attacked well i'm sure this 66 year old woman was quite a looker okay i mean for a woman of her advancing years but uh that's just not true, okay? These people are not in their right mind. Serial rapists, uh, serial killers, they're, they're, they're mentally incompetent. You know, maybe it was a drug or alcohol-fueled uh, rage that he was in. So he's not thinking in his right mind anyways, okay? So you can't, ju you can't just assume that, oh, well, I'm ugly and fat, so no one will ever attack me. That's stupid, folks. Okay? And your life is every bit as valuable as, as a swimsuit supermodel. Okay? That's the, that's the way that, that it works. The trend here is violent crime is way up. Not just in the city, but it's spilling out into the suburbs and into the rural areas as well. So you need to be able to, to have that gun close by. Uh, you know, my rule is when I'm inside my house, I have to be able to have a gun in my hand, cock lock, ready to rock within five seconds. When I'm out in public, it has to be under two seconds because you just don't have a lot of time. People have it in their, in their head that I, I'm in my, in my house, I'm in my own yard. This is my personal safe space. They can't get me here. And that's a load of crap too. You don't have a safe space. There is no safe space. When throughout the thousands of years of human history has the world ever been safe? Granted, some times in history are safer than others, but this is fast becoming not one of those times. Folks, I want you to pay heed to me. If you don't have your permit, you get your permit. But it's not enough to have that little card from the government that says you're legal. You shouldn't even need that card from the government. You know, we everything should be constitutional carry. But that's a different podcast. The thing is, if the gun isn't there on your person where you can get it in like 1.2 seconds, then it's useless to you. You've got to get your gun. You've got to keep it on you at all times, okay? Because you don't know whether you're going to be attacked or not attacked. You only have to be attacked one time for it to be a life-changing event. 
All right. I'm going to do more of this stuff in the, in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that. More and more people they need to carry because it's getting dangerous out there, folks. It really, really is. Check out our sponsors. Check out uh, Center Shot Indoor Gun Range, centershotgunrange.com. Uh, and then also check out United States Concealed Carry Association, uscca.com. Those are the classes that I teach. That's the class that you should take. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today. I want you to uh, carry safe, carry often. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you for joining us this week on The Home Defense Show. Now, get out there and protect the ones you love. We'll see you next week with more of the best in home defense. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle!